Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com. We're doing an inspection today on a 1948 Cadillac two door sitinette. Got a beautiful fastback look. You really don't see many of these cars around. This car is really, really a great looking car. I apologize for all the dust in this video, but as you can see, we're in a dirt storage lot. The vehicle's got a nice, uh, stored in a nice cement floor warehouse, but uh, out here the wind's blowing 10, 15 miles an hour, and I just can't keep this thing dusted down. I keep mopping it off, and it keeps dusting up, so I cleaned a few spots on the car to kind of show you the potential quality of reflection. I cleaned up the lower uh, fender here. Actually, I take that back. I cleaned up this spot right in here. The car's got wonderful, uh, you know, reflective quality. You can read the bold print on my temperature sensing gun. Let me see if I can get a shot of that for you. That's about 24 or 26 inches away from the car. Can you see it? And that's me. We're going to skip out on this call. I polished up a spot on the... I cleaned up with some... Uh, uh, simple green. Uh, I cleaned a spot on the white walls to show you those need some attention and love. Just wiped off a nice spot on the hubcaps with some Windex to show you that uh, this is just, it's uh, dust and grunge from sitting for a long time. There's a little bit of surface contamination on top of the paint. Uh, they didn't hire me to clean the car. I did clean a couple spots just to show people that this, that stuff will come off. It's going to need some elbow grease. <clears throat> a few small chips in various locations here and there. The car was completely stripped down, detrimmed when it was repainted. The uh, my little bubble magnet here shows that the car's got good magnetic adhesion. Here's another chip down low on the bottom of this door. But the door corners are holding up, the rockers are holding up. Fender skirts. We went all the way around it. There's a little less adhesion down low here, uh, down low here, and down low here on the fender dog legs than there is on the rest of the car. But that would be expected. Somebody's done a nice job of trying to block this thing out and get it super straight. As you can see, it's a nice straight car. It's at least as straight as it was in the period, if not straighter. I don't know how well that shows up in this video today. I'm hoping it shows up good. All the chrome on the car appears to have been all replated. It's really in exceptional condition. The grill's in beautiful condition. The bumperettes, the bezels for the marker lights, very, very nice. The only piece that doesn't appear that it got done was the <clears throat> antenna base, excuse me, and the gasket looks pretty old. The chrome around the belt moldings on the windows looks great. It needs to be polished. It's really got some polishing marks in it but no major dings or dents. A little bit of slight delamination in the glass. The still photos will show that there's a crack right here in the corner of this window. It rolls up and down just fine. These original windows, you can see they've got the original high test safety markings. There's a scratch, kind of a gouge in this back one here, and you can feel it bind a little bit in the trim as you're rolling it down. That issue needs to be addressed. It does roll up and down. Great original three-piece rear window in very nice shape. Over here we have the same condition. This rolls up and down easily, but you'll see a scratch in that window. It's an original piece. Side glass here is in great shape. Little DLAM there as well. Windshields are very nice. You'll see the original high test safety markings right there. Can you see them? I'm pointing right. Can't see what I'm showing you. The body's in wonderful shape. I had it jacked up. We did a three hour long inspection on this car. I don't see any previous or prior collision damage apparent. Nothing really to indicate that this car has been smacked. The underbody's got a reasonably decent coating of some surface rust and grunge. No patches, no repairs, no welds can be seen whatsoever. The car is sporting an original 40,685 miles. The steering wheel is unrestored and it's in beautiful condition. No hairline cracks, not even at the stems really to speak of. There's a couple really, really tiny marks there just beginning. The horn chrome has a little bit of pitting as you can see. The still photos will show it better. Original horn uh, center cap is very nice. 
horn works. Uh, there's some pitting, some stage one pitting and patina on the speedometer bezel, but the gauge face is really nice. All the gauges work. The dash paint is in really, really good shape. You'll see the stills on that and so are the tops of the doors. All looks very nice. All the interior trim, regulators and handles and such are in excellent shape. The radio has some contamination here on top of the push buttons and uh, the face of this chrome trim definitely has some stage one pitting and patina. I don't know if you can see it in video. Trying though. The original uh, fish scale or whatever you may want to call this uh, panel with that kind of diamond plate cut and it looks really nice for an original piece. It does have some patina on it and I don't know as that will clean up at all. But the rest of the chrome's in fabulous shape. The interior was totally restored, all new soft components. Very, very nice. No real wear at the seat bolster whatsoever. You can see that really it got used very little once it was recovered. Original sill plates are in nice condition. You can tell these are originals based on the color inlays and the painted crown in the center. And you see a little bit of general wear, but no major door sag, no, no dragging noted. The door skins are beautiful where the skin wraps the shell is super clean. The bottoms of the door shells, they're very nice as well. The car is a uh, push button start as any 48 Cadillac owner would probably know, but maybe other of you are not aware. And it runs and purrs quietly. The former owner has been passed on for 10 years and the car has remained in storage. Watch how these doors close. Uh, actually, they'll even close lighter than that. I'm gonna let go and they'll even close lighter than that. Anyway, they close beautiful, trust me on that. Again, the reflective quality in the paint is really, really nice. This side of the car didn't get uh, cleaned down or waxed. Let's see if I'm talented enough to get this hood up while holding a camera. My guess is yes. Original flathead V8 motor. Got a little bit of a fuel leak coming out. We're going to have to shut this down right there, spraying out of the fuel pump. Let's not let that spoil the party. The car's been in storage for 10 years, and uh, we're bound to have a few problems. The original engine stamp is right here on the front motor pad. You can kind of, similar to a Chevy small block and a big block, they get stamped up there. You're not going to be able to see the number, but it's 14245, it looks like. Single two-barrel carb, original distributor, firewalls in really nice shape. Inner fender's in nice shape as well, all original wiring. It's a gorgeous car. I was going to take you on a test drive in a minute, but I don't think we're going to do that with a fuel leak. Not today. The underbody, as you can see, I've got over 50 still photos you can view on our website, but it's a really, really well-preserved underbody. Those floor supports, inner rocker structure, all the gussets on the frame rails, all original and in spectacular condition. Those cushions have very little dry cracking present. The suspension in this car is all original. Doesn't appear anybody's really done any work on it. quiet down for a minute so you can just observe. The car sits very nicely. The exhaust is very quiet. And as you can see, very good looking original underbody. The quarter panel splashes are all in really nice shape. I've, again, I've got still photos of those that you can view on the website, www.autoappraise.com. You'll have to request a password to get to it all. 
the trunk well again I didn't clean all the stuff out but looked it over very carefully I peeled back some of the inner panel covers and it looks very nice in our still photos jack and spare in place miscellaneous boxes of a few parts I haven't gone through but the deck lid's in great shape all the rubber seals have been changed it's a fabulous sedanette sedanette depends on I guess what part of the country you're from huh beautiful car with a real low miles history and a great runner and driver except we're not going to drive her today Jason from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com here in Michigan, Detroit, July 2nd. Finishing up a video on a set of three Cadillacs that are getting ready to go to market. We've got a well-written report, and uh, I think maybe closer to 300 still photos on this car with magnetic adhesion results and the whole nine yards, underbody results. Let us know if we can do an inspection for you sometime.